I almost got killed last week. I got hit by, I almost got hit by a smart car. <laughs> you can't die that way. There's no dignity dying that way. This is when I realized how small a smart car is. It cut me off like inches from my face and my instinct reflexively was to just push it out of the way. <laughs> it's tired living in this city. I am so tired. You ever been so tired you look at a homeless guy asleep on the street and go, boy, I wish I could sleep like that. <laughs> I don't need a box spring, I need a box. I'm married. Sorry. It doesn't have to change. What's that? She doesn't have to know? This show is over, everybody. You are such a lovely, slutty woman. I love you. Oh, my God. Look at that. that you'll, that'll never happen for you. But anyway... Uh, You, you should school him. I'm married uh, 12 years. I dated my wife 13 years before we got married. We met in high school. Relax, ladies. We met in high school, and we dated a while, and then she proposed, finally. <laughs> I can't tell you her exact words because I get really emotional, but they ended with, or get off the pot! <laughs> One argument three times a month. If you're in a relationship, married, single, whatever, you've had this fight. I can't do little things and it drives her crazy, but then her reaction to me drives me nuts. You've had this argument. I'm in the refrigerator and she's in the living room. And I'm like, Cal, where are the pickles? She's like, you know where they are. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. They're in the refrigerator. I know that. They're pickles. Where? You know where they are. No, I don't. This is funny to her. Hit her. Hit her right now. You know what you do. You know where they're, they're on the shelf. I know. Pickles go on the shelf. Where? Then this is the line. This is the line, guys, where she says it, and you think to yourself, I could knock her out and drive her to the river, and nobody will know. This is the line. You ready? Are you looking? Yeah, then this next line, you need like a team of psychiatrists to decipher. He does this. I can tell he does this, right? And you need like a team of psychiatrists to decipher this next line. Yeah, I'm looking. Are you look looking or just looking? I'm looking, you never look for things. You're like a child, you have to look. I'm not gonna look for you. And then, and then, and then. <laughs> you get this really condescending tone in your voice, like you're the control tower talking down the plane and we're all mentally challenged. It's like, all right, do you see the bread? Yes, I see the bread. <laughs> okay, well, if you look, you'll notice the pickles are right behind the bread. I don't see them. Then here comes the next line and the judge hears this and he goes, justifiable homicide. Did you move the bread? Yeah, did you move, move the bread or just move the bread? I moved the bread. Would you move it like two inches? You're like a child. You have to, all right, I moved the bread. And what do you see? Nothing. Exactly, Paul, because you forgot to buy pickles on the way home last night. <laughs> <laughs>